punishment for pooping his pants. Well, I mean, that that is a capital offense. A three-and-a-half-year-old child having difficulty getting potty trained was brought to Daytona Beach Shores Public Safety Department on successive days last October and placed in jail. Holy shit. On a second occasion in October, the child was also handcuffed. Oh my god. The boy promised to never again poop his pants. I, no, that kid's gonna be afraid of shitting for the rest of his life. Got thrown in the slammer for it? Good lord. Is this re There's no way this is real. This can't be real. But there's there was a, a source from the USA Today. And this is the Daytona Beach Journal. Like, this has to be, like, an authentic place. There's the resub flan, fettuccine, spaghetti, zoo... Mason, Booger, and the Gifts of Travel, and Tier 1 Travel. <laughs> Thanks for the 10 Gift Subs, Exquisite. Thank you for that. And the Bits Grump and the Prime Reel. So it looks like they st they can't release any of like the real evidence yet. They said the document or the records are sealed by a judge. So at least they're being investigated. They did say that there's body cam footage of them arresting the three year old though up here, didn't they? Yeah, Lieutenant Michael Schoenbrod told the Department of Children and Families caseworker body cam footage from the Volusia County Sheriff's Office shows. Holy shit. I can't believe this is real. What the fuck? Well, that's one way to ensure that kid's never properly potty trained. He's got a lawyer up lawyer up now at three years old for a case of poopy britches. There's the resub Wolfen, Swain, Ace, and Brandon. The bits Becky and Thrax. <clears throat> However, that doesn't make what the petitioner is doing legally correct. In my view, this is an abuse of the provision of that rule because guy knows the clerk will treat it as confidential until such a time the hearing is heard. Interesting. Okay. So is this a different child? So he's jailed a three-year-old for shitted britches. And then says he put a four-year-old in jail as well. Well, th this guy is claiming that he also put the four-year-old in there. How does he find so many kids that are pooping their pants? Approximately nine years earlier, he said he disciplined his four-year-old son similarly after misbehaving at preschool. Holy shit. Schoenbrod said he asked the boy whether he had hit a girl and the boy said yes. So Schoenbrod then told the boy he puts people in jail when they hit other people. I took him to the jail and he sat there and I watched him and he was crying and everything. And to this day, if you mention like that incident, he's just like, I would never do that again. It was effective, Schoenbrod said. So that's why I did it with this. He didn't hit anybody, but I figured the same thing. Discipline. And he didn't want to go back, so. Over having an accident.
What in the world? The no poop policy, I guess so. Jesus. Make the prime graph in the resub mailman, Jackson, Ferna, Keo, and Tuxedo, and Javni. Well, I doubted this was real. I was very much wrong. Pretty cool statement. This whole matter just does not pass the basic smell test. Good one, Groot. Oh wow, wait, their name's actually Groot? Nice. Thanks to Teeny and Nimbus. So it's like scared straight, but for toddlers. No, with scared straight, the most they can do is yell, right? It seems like this guy legitimately took them to jail and put them in, at least as I understand it, actually put them in the uh, uh, chambers to teach them a lesson. So I guess scared straight, but like actually going to jail. Whoops. Scared shitless. <laughs> True. My god. Well. What, what a fucking hero. Thanks to Evan and Tier 1 Switch. 